Hey guys, um, I have these, I want. I think they're rain guards. I got them off of a blazer at a scrapyard and I was gonna put them on my blazer, but since I have something else to put stuff on, uh, I figured I might as well see what they look like on here first. And I'm not sure, I'm not 100%. I'm not 100% yes, I'm not 100% no. Um, it's not bolted down properly, so that's why it's not sitting properly, but I'm kind of digging it. It adds a little bit of flair to it, I think. And flair in some aspects is good, but let me know what you guys think. Um, it just has, you just, uh, it has those little mounting, three mounting holes, and then you just, it goes up let me and where it actually mounts to, so. Also, I had a mishap the other day. I was being a dumbass and I broke my uh, little rat fink guy, so luckily he didn't uh, fall out of the truck and he just fell back into it. But they basically, you push this seal back and you screw it up into there. So, I mean, if I don't like it, then at least it's the holes are hidden. So. I might try that out this weekend, we'll see. Um, I also just kinda took some brush on paint and brushed my badges a little bit better because they were pretty shitty on both sides. It realistically looks probably worse because I got paint where I wasn't supposed to, but I have, the only thing I have was a thick paint brush. And yes, I probably should have waited, but I was bored and I had nothing to do. Like I have things to do with my blazer, but I don't really feel like accomplishing that much right now. See, that's my... That's how thick it is, and... I mean... I did the best job I could with the materials provided, so... Whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, so let me know about those, uh... Rain guards. I think I might do it, so... In the next video of my truck, you might see these on. I'm not gonna make an install video of it, because... It's six fucking volts. And if you can't figure that out, then should probably learn or find a different hobby. I also put my flooring, I I laid it in the truck because I really like to get this thing on the road because I got to pull the transmission out of my C10 this weekend. So I don't know if I mentioned it, but the uh, old starter failed and uh, causing the when I got it, when I finally got it running, the old starter chipped some teeth off of the flex plate, so I pulled the transmission out of this truck after driving it a couple times. Now I gotta pull the transmission out of the other fucking truck. It's getting And I really wanted to try and find a four-speed auto for that thing because three gears and I drive on the highway every day is not very awesome. But sadly, the funds do not support it right now, so and I think right now I'm going to look at wiring up my tack that I have for this thing because I like an electrical shift. Yeah, so wiring up a tack is very straightforward. Um, basically, on the back of the distributor, or not the back, but where all the other wires plug in, for fuck's sakes, there's a There is, there should be a tack plug-in underneath here somewhere, or inside. Maybe it's on, I don't know where it is on this TDI, but on my, on my big block Chevy over there, it's on the bottom of the distributor, so I assume they'd be in the same place. So this is the tag I have for my blazer. Um, my brother got it out of a parts truck, so I'm gonna assume black wire is ground, red is power, as per usual, and then I'm gonna get a power probe on here and make sure, I'm pretty sure green would be the light and white would go to the actual distributor, so 
I'm gonna get a power probe, make sure of that first, and then that's why it's here, so it can be used on the battery. So this is the power probe that I have to use. Um, and it's basically, you know, if you know how to use it, you hook it up to the positive side and the negative side of the battery, and here's a, uh, uh, it'll show it on the screen when I plug it in, but uh, positive, negative, and then it'll either light it up or it won't work, so, so if my camera will focus here, there we go, pushing it forward, brings up the positive, down, brings up the negative, so, um, I'm probably not going to be able to film me doing this as I only have one hand and no tripod handy, so, yeah, I'll let you know which wire is which. So the other thing I forgot to mention, as I forgot myself, is I'm going to need to hook the power up here and the negative up to the battery as well, so then this could actually tell me what the other two wires do, so. Basically, I'm just testing to see which one is the light that lights the tank up. I didn't actually need the power prober. I just used it to hold the positive and negative on the battery posts, and then I just hooked up the white and green ones. And I can't remember which way I said it, but I'm pretty sure I said the green was uh, going to be lights, and then the white was going to be go to the distributor. But I had it backwards. The white is actually for the light which makes sense because the light is white, but that didn't go through my mind, so I'm just going to put some ends on it to extend the wires because these this might reek it to make it to the fuse block for power, but this is not going to make it anywhere where I'm mounting it, and then these are not going to make it to the fuse block and then the engine bay, so I'll put some ends on there, some longer wire, and then we'll go put her in the truck. Wire's all on there. I had to use two of the same colors as the only red wire we have left is quite a bit thicker and uh, we don't have any black either so I have to replace the rolls but um, yeah so white is light green is going to the distributor when I find it and then we got power and ground so I'm gonna go look for the spot in the distributor I also peeled off the electrical tape and Got a little small piece of wire loom to put on there to cover the wires. I think that looks a little bit nicer than electrical tape. So um, I'm gonna go look for that spot on the distributor, and when I find it, I will start wiring this up. So the new blue wire goes and plugs in back there. Runs along with all this other shit ton of wires that half of them I don't know what are for. So it used to be a search and rescue truck, so it has a bunch of wiring on it that I'm not sure what's for. So. It's got this big ass alternator. Um, and then, so I actually have cleaned up some of the wiring in this truck. My father helped me, showed me how to use the power probe originally. And um, yeah, so the blue wire goes in here. Through this disgusting mess I call a firewall, there's the blue wire. And then obviously I'm gonna tape up the ends here and then put the wire loom up top and then I'm gonna mount it up here in the corner. I was gonna originally just put a clamp around the steering wheel and put it here, but I'm not a fan of that, it looks unfinished, so I was gonna try and keep it out of my line of view, but realistically, that's for how many, it's not that big of a deal for where I'm putting it, so. Yeah, so it'll sit up there in the corner. Obviously, it'll sit straight once I mount it. And uh, the red line will not be at six, I can tell you that much, so. Yeah, and then I just gotta find parts on the fuse block to put these wires to, and uh, ground it to the truck somewhere, and then uh, I'll test it, power it up. I'm not gonna start it because I still have open headers. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna go get the right size pipe tomorrow to fix that, hopefully, and the other side because I'd like to finish it so I can actually drive it because I didn't drive it at all last year, but. That's my own fault, right? So, I'm gonna get that fixed. I'm gonna get a O2 bung clamp, and I'm also going to get a uh, flex plate for my C10 because I have to pull the uh, uh, turbo 400 out of it to fix the flex plate that is missing teeth. So, that's the way I'm gonna spend my May long weekend, which is awesome. 
And then my next purchase for this truck will either be doors, because this one is not horrible. It's like, I know the rust bubbles are there, but they're so, the metal's still so hard, so I'm just not concerned about it. And the other door is worse. That door over there is pretty bad in this area. But it's really not that bad. But I actually did find a, one of my friends on Instagram sent me a link to a company that actually makes reproduction blazer tailgates. So if anybody is interested in that, I can put their website. I'm going to put their website in the description. So if you are in need, need of a blazer tailgate and you can't find a clean, rust-free run around you like I can't in Canada, um, I would recommend you check them out because they are going to be... The best bet where, I mean, the company's in the United States, so it's the best I can do for Canada, but if you're in the United States and you can't find a restaurant, that's what I'd recommend doing because I'll show you my tailgate. It's pretty bad. It's got, so it doesn't look horrible. The, one of the latches broke and it fell. And then on this side, I don't know if you can see it, but my brother painted it in behind the Chevrolet logo. It's just rotten. And it's got some dents, it's not perfect. This truck isn't perfect, it's my first attempt at a restoration, so. Yeah, um, I'd recommend you check there out. And uh, I'll finish this video off with the tack. So, I found everything for the tack. I have yet to finish buttoning everything up. Um, blue one goes through the firewall. The other blue one goes up to the fuse box to uh, some sort of power source. I can't remember which one I put it to. Uh, I put the the one blue wire, which is the light, to uh, accessories. So that should turn on when the truck turns on. I might find a different one just so it turn. I can turn it on with my lights because that's a little bit more convenient. And then uh, the power wire, I stuck it up in the fuse box as well. I stuck it up to ignition so that when the ignition of the truck is on, then the the uh, tack will turn on and. I was gonna screw it into my dash, but I think I'm just gonna silicone it in place up there because this truck is not done and this might not be the final place for the tack. So silicone, at least I can get some brake clean and get it off with my hands. So it'll probably sit up here in the corner siliconed in place and then at least I can watch my RPMs when I'm out driving this thing. So that'll be nice. Yeah, so. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of this or my C10, I'm actually uh, having to replace the flex plate in my C10 this weekend, so that's how I'm spending my May long weekend, and uh, uh, maybe I can record that. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, give it a like and subscribe if you'd like. Um, thanks. See you guys next time.